soulmates it's an absolute pleasure to have you once again on my channel if this is your first time checking out my channel please do not leave without subscribing to this channel because on this channel I teach you how to do simple DIY right there at your home and you don't want to miss out on any of it today I'll be showing you how to make a simple cow neck um, top so for this project you're going to need your basic your basic pattern for your blouse and we are going to manipulate this pattern in order to achieve this style so let's get started you're also going to need your basic sleeve pattern to make this garment so what we're going to do now the first thing you have to do is that you have to so this is the front my front and my back is drafted on the same pattern so what I'm going to do now I'm going to cut out the back part of my pattern so that's the first thing I am going to do I'm going to use this um, fabric in order to achieve this style and so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to cut out the back so this is already drafted if you do not know how to do this pattern I'm um, just um, check out my video on how to make a basic bodice pattern this is that this is a dartless body so all you have to do is take out the dart from it and then go in one inch depending on how much dart intake you did I hope you understand that so what I'm going to do I'm going to cut out my back pattern unfold so I'm just gonna fold my fabric regular for a cowl neck you have to cut it on the bias the front so back you're not cutting it on a bias you're just cutting it normally so that's what I'm going to do I'm folding my fabric and I'm gonna place my pattern here on it and I'm just going to cut this out normally okay so I went ahead and I cut out the back of my blouse so I'm gonna set this aside and then I'm gonna show you how to achieve the front you guys so I've cut out the back now I'm going to show you how to achieve the front but remember I told this when you I drafted the back and the front pattern so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut out the armhole because the front armhole is always deeper than the back so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm cutting out the front okay so there you have it that's the front so now what you're going to do you're going to take your fabric and you'll have to fold this fabric on the bias what do I mean by the bias? You're going to simple t simply take your fabric like this and you're going to fold it in a triangular form. So the triangular form like this because here you will have the bias of it. Okay? So I'm folding this in the triangular form. So ensure that you have a triangle just like what I have here okay you're going to do you're going to fold it in such a way you're gonna fold it in such a way that you have enough fabric at the top because what we're going to do is that we're going to cut open this part the chest line okay we're gonna this is a chest line now and we're going to slash it open and pull it all the way up okay so as to get the cowl at the front so what I'm going to do now ensure that it's straight so that's what I'm doing ensuring that it's straight and fine so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pin this part here okay ensure you have enough fabric at the top
right so i'm pinning there so what i'm going to do i'm going to take my scissors and i'm going to slash open the neckline but you're not going to cut all the neckline all the way off you're going to leave a little piece there just like this so what you're going to do now you're going to open it so the more you open is the more 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 is the lower it's going to be your cow is going to be so if you open it why you can open it as much as you want but just know that the more you open this the wider it's gonna become so this is okay for me so I'm gonna pin this here and you're going to take your chalk And you're going to trace out your shoulder like this. Trace this out. Okay. All right. I'm just going to cut this here. Where it stops here. Right. I'm going to cut this out. So what you're going to do now is that you're going to cut, cut out this part all the way up. All right, so now that you have drawn this line, you're going to take and you're going to make a straight shoulder line. Okay. So that's what you have. I hope you can see my chalk very clearly, but all I did from the shoulder point, the tip of the shoulder point, I made a straight line coming over. When you do that, you're going to take your measurement from this line that you have drawn hope you're seeing this clearly from this line that you have drawn you're going to measure about three and a half inches to four inches all the way up so you're going to measure your four inches or your three and a half inches right and I'm going to cut it off here. At this mark, you're going to, so what you're going to do, you're going to fold it under. Okay? Like this. And then now you're going to finish cutting out this because we're, we're cutting the facing width the neckline at the same time so i'm following my curve here okay so this is what you're supposed to have but you're not going to leave this um as it is because you don't want it to be all the way down at the tip of the shoulder okay so you're going to take off some inches so you can go up about maybe two or three inches and then you're going to sort of curve it like this. And you're going to cut that off. Okay, so let me just take this off and show you what it looks like. So this, my friends, is your cow neck. So this here is the shoulder, right? So when you put the back onto the front, so remember this is the piece that 
is going to be act as the facing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it to my serger and I'm going to serge this piece here. Okay? And then I'm going to show you what to do next. So here you have it. I went ahead and I serged it. Okay? So this here is going to be like this. So this, remember, this is the shoulder. Okay? It looks funny now, but you'll see the cowl form. So guys, this is what the cowl neck will look like. So it's not pressed as yet, but if you notice, there's a lot of dro drooping or a lot of fabric in the center of it. So this is what it will look like. So the only thing I'll have to do now is that I will have to um, put my my sleeve in and attach my sides finish my m okay so this is what your colic looks like you see how easy that is and if you pull it up more then you'll have more fabric at the front area right like this so i hope you find this video helpful if you did do not forget to give me a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified each time I make a video. Until we meet again, God bless you and take care.